My name is Joyce Avila and today I'll be sharing with you some information about the new Snow Pro Associate Certification Exam. I passed this new exam on February 8th and want to share with you some information that might be helpful if you're planning to take the exam too. This new Snowflake Certification Exam was released on February 3rd, 2025. There are no prerequisites for the exam. The exam cost $100, consists of 65 questions with a passing score of 750 out of a possible 1,000. An interesting thing to note about this exam is that it is not proctored, which means that there's no requirement to have your camera turned on and you don't need to schedule the exam in advance. Once you sign up and pay for the exam, you have 24 hours to start the exam, but you'll need to complete the exam within 85 minutes from starting with no exceptions being made for the time limit. The exam tests users over four domains, Snowflake Architecture, Identity and Access Management, Data Loading in Virtual Warehouses, and Data Protection and Data Sharing. The architecture section and the data loading in virtual warehouse section make up a total of 75% of the exam questions, so those two sections are where I'd recommend you spend most of your study efforts. The exam section worth the most is the data loading in virtual warehouses section, which makes up 40% of the exam questions. You'll be tested on your knowledge about creating tables in Snowflake, along with loading data into tables and querying both structured and unstructured data in Snowflake. It's important to also understand how to work with unstructured data in Snowflake. In addition, you'll want to understand Snowflake virtual warehouses and how to manage them. Questions from this section will also test your knowledge of how to use Snowflake Cortex LLM functions, including the parse document function, translate function, classify text function, and complete function. Based on the importance of this section, I'd recommend you know how semi-structured and structured data are stored and referenced in Snowflake. It's also a good idea to be familiar with query history. There's another important section with 35% of the exam questions coming from this domain, interacting with Snowflake and Snowflake architecture. This section tests your knowledge of foundational concepts such as Snowflake layers and user interfaces like SnowSight, Notebooks, and SQL and Python worksheets. Understanding Snowflake objects such as databases, schemas, tables, and views is important along with knowing how each of the objects fit within the Snowflake hierarchy. The version of the exam I took had several questions about Snowflake notebooks and about navigating in the SnowSight interface, both by using the menu options and the database object explorer. The section of the exam covering identity and access management is worth 15%. To answer the questions from this section, you'll need to understand role-based access control, including knowing about Snowflake system-defined roles and the role hierarchy. You'll also need to know about understanding context and how to set context with the use command. There are basic SQL commands using select, limit, and show that will be tested on several questions in this section. The last section, data protection and data sharing, accounts for about 10% of the exam. Within this section, you'll be tested over some basic Snowflake sharing capabilities and the Snowflake marketplace. In addition, you can expect several questions about time travel, including which objects and table types you can use with time travel and how you can change the data retention time for time travel purposes. When you're ready to take the new Snow Pro Associate exam, log into the Snowflake certification portal. On the left side of the screen, click on Schedule and Manage Exams and then Manage My Exams. Once there, you'll be able to sign up for the Snowflake exam of your choice. Best of luck to you in your journey. You can find me on LinkedIn and GitHub as well as on YouTube. I always welcome new connections.